is a walk around the all new Audi Q3. Um, sorry for background noise, reasonably because this dealership is right next to the main road, so I do apologize. Anyhow, towards the front, you got some really nice full LED headlights, as you can see. See your grill here, it's also blacked out as well. It's got some nice painted black trim all over the outside. Towards the lower portion, you got four parking sensors into and to the front bumper. You also have your adaptive cruise control sensor there as well. Have a look at these lights. It's quite aggressive as well. Fuel consumption of this car is 7.3 litres per 100 k's, 300 kilometres. Molly Sansa 35 TFSI petrol, 6 speed S Tronic, it's also got 19 inch wheels. Urban 9x4, extra urban 6.1. Show your wheels. It's got a metallic grey finish. In terms of the tyres, they are Hancock tyres. Hancock. Ventus S1 Evo 2 SUV tyres. Rubber is actually quite nice. They are 19 inch, as I mentioned on the sticker as well. Got LEDs integrated to the side view mirrors. It's also blacked out as well. I'll show you the side profile of the car. Here's the rear. Let's see, LED tail lights, also very nice. Got a pole in the way. Again, four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper there. Got a rear backup camera hidden in there. Q3. Power toll gate, you can see, nice and tall, and quite wide which is really good so it makes it easy, also there's no real bridge here so it makes it a lot easier to slide large, large items across. Spare tyre, toolkit, got a first aid kit over here as well, seats do fold down. A little handle. Oh, uh, here's it. Oh, there you go. Locks in place. So I'm not used to them being at the top, but so I'm just used to them pressing over here. So it looks like they've moved over here. This version. So they're actually nice and flat, which is also the main thing. So benefit of that makes it much more easy. To slide slide large items across. Let's leave this door open so you can get a bit more light. Let's see. Very nice. And then you got some you got a rubber tray there which is I believe is an optional extra if you want. Right there, there, look here. So yep, power toll gate so I press this button. Close nicely with the slam the boot. It's the interior. Sorry, this one's too quick. A bit thirsty. So here's the interior of the all new Audi Q3. So here's the gauge cluster, you can see it's fully digitized. The left, you got your temperature gauge for the engine, right the fuel gauge. Got a leather wrap steering wheel, also very nice. And you've got this really nice black stitching as well. 
good bolstering. The buns feel very nice as well. It's nice aluminum trim here. So you got your wiper and indicator, sorry, your headlight indicator controls to the left. And your so yeah, headlight indicator controls to the left, and towards the right you got your wiper controls. A little bit hard to see towards the end of the steering wheel, but you got your wiper controls there. So soft touch, it's really nice, so it gives you a much more premium feeling interior. And you got this really cool pen, I don't know if you can see in the trim here, you can see it's sort of um a little nice pen here, it's a bit hard to focus. Also here you got this sort of nice pen as well, with the aluminium trim here. You got a little Audi logo here, and also that has also a little nice little detailed trim there. So nicely padded glove box, got a pen holder. RD's MMI Navigation Plus system. Wait till that turns on. Got some wireless charging as well, which is good. So if you've got your smartphone, you can do that. Also, one thing they've really updated, which I really like, is they got USB Type C ports here, which is also nice. You also have a traditional USB port here as well. Let's click home. Navigation. So you see the graphics are quite nice as well. So let's go. I kind of like that clicking sound too. You see it's quite responsive, which is also really nice. Nice to see. Very clear graphics. Radio, you can see how nice the radio sounds. So I do it purposely to avoid copyright, telephone, shortcuts, phone apps, so CarPlay, stuff like that, which is pretty cool, settings, all those sorts of things, climb control, very nice, fan speeds, C, recycling, rear, Cool. Additional buttons, so you got um, soft park, so what you need to do is operate the gear shifter and the car will parallel park by itself, so it's also a nice feature. Hill descent control, control already mentioned about the while it's charging. Got a leather shift boot with some black stitching, also nicely, nice gloss piano black trim here as well. Got some decent sized cup holders for the 750ml bottle, so it fits here. Very nicely. Also, you got these little, little toggles here, which kind of keep it nice and steady. Also, fits very nice on the side here. Whoop! It's all right. There you go. Electronic parking brake, 12 volt power outlet. Got a small storage for your key. Leather armrest with some vinyl armrest. Sorry, with um this black stitching as well. Seats, you can see here, very nice. And you got some of that grey stitching on here and on the side here. So they're cloth on the outside, but all inside leather. And the mirror. I think this is actually a vinyl, but I'm not too sure, so feel free to correct me in the description below. You can see they all touch as well. Also very cool. Frameless rear view mirror. 
some old gloss gloss black material. Kind of like how the handles are reversed. That's actually a little interesting design. Normally they all point upwards, but you can see on the handles they point downwards, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's a little interesting sort of design quirk. You can see right there. It's all soft touch door cards over here as well. Storage also very good. I'll just put this out in the bottle here in case I'm gonna reach for it. Powered seats. Just padded storage. Didn't mention the seats do fold down, I think already. already. Oh, so you have to hold the seat here. And this one's locked in place, so I'm gonna have to go to the other side and lock it. So just bear with me one second. So you've got to continue holding it so it actually locks back in place also doesn't do so. Quite like the rear handles, that's actually pretty... I only just realised just now, you can see it's all silver. It's actually really cool. I haven't seen that before. So as you can see the handles, they look very cool. So you get some soft touch materials here as well for the rear. Capenta okay, is nice. Some soft touch material here. A bit of hard plastics as well. Got some decent storage on the sides too, so if I just put this cup bottle here, you can easily fit a bottle there. Go towards the center, you can see you've got two cup holders. Let's see if they can fit these sorts of cups. So obviously it doesn't fit this sort of size, that's okay, but you've got big, large ones on the side, so good for like small drinks and things like that. So nice, some nice stitching there too. Same same style seat, same stitching like you get on the front seats as well. Got some tether points as well. It's good for a baby booster. Rear illumination. Got a large sunroof, panoramic sunroof. Show the whoop, the dashboard from the rear seat. So you do have a large road transmission tunnel, but you can easily keep your feet on the, on the side too, which is good, so it doesn't obstruct the other two passengers, which is good. Great heavy room, it's also nice. Did forget to mention you do have rear vents here, and then again, you got two micro use, I mean USB Type-C ports, and a 12 volt power outlet, which is also quite nice. So it's good they're updating to the modern sort of trends to USB Type C because that's pretty much what most phones have now. So I'll just go and check out the engine bay. Might get a bit messy, messy. hopefully, this one has springs. Oh, yes, thank God. It makes it much more easy to pop the bonnet. So here's the engine TFSI, in case you were wondering. So you can see it's spring assisted, strut assisted, so it makes it much more easier to pop, pop the bonnet. Well, that's my little walk around of the all new Audi Q3. Um, sorry for the mistakes in the video. Um, this car is for sale at Audi Richmond, so I'll leave the details in the description below. And um, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.